Hallelujah. Greetings to all of you in Jesus' matchless, wonderful and absolutely glorious name. Well, I like to share something that the Lord has been teaching me from His Word. Let me read this uh, very, very famous verse from a very prominent Psalms. I believe every Christian knows this Psalm. Psalm 91, verse 1. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Well, I am going to talk about the secret place of the Most High God. The secret place of El Elyon. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, God of Israel has a very peculiar, very special place, which is called the secret place. Do you know what the secret, secret place is? Where this is? I've been asking the Lord for the last uh, many years as to where this secret place is. And this is what ha I have been learning from the Lord, from His Word. Um, the, let me read the verse one more time. It's, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Another scripture verse there I want to compare with this which is found in Isaiah 45th chapter and the third verse the latter part of the verse says that God will give us the treasures of the dark places well being Christians we all assume that darkness and everything that denote dark places actually belong to the kingdom of Satan but that's not the truth let me take you back into the book of Exodus when God delivered the people of Israel from the land of bondage nearly 3 million people marched through that unknown territory under the shade of that glorious cloud a pillar of fire would descend upon them during the night time a mysterious rock flew after them all those 40 years and God supernaturally in such a stunning manner would open the floodgates of heaven and he will shower manna upon his people. The angel of the presence of the Lord was with them. Such glorious supernatural was the walk of the people of God in the wilderness. That all the hidden nations around them dreaded them profoundly. God brought them at the foot of the mountain called Mount Sinai. And the, in the 19th chapter, if you read carefully, book of Exodus, the... 16th verse beginning from verse 14 you will you will find God himself descends on the mountain when God descends on the mountain there was a lightning and thunders that happen in the sky and there in verse 16 you find that a cloud of darkness came and engulfed the mount of Sinai hallelujah and the children of Israel went under the went under the mountain. That means the mountain lifted up in the glory of God. And all around the mountain, there was a thick cloud of darkness. Hallelujah. What is this thick cloud of darkness? Let, let me give you certain scriptures. If you read second um if you if you read uh, second samuel the 22nd chapter and the 10th verse it says the cloud of darkness was under the feet of god of israel and exodus 20th chapter and the 21st verse is very powerful it says in the darkness was the place where god of israel was hallelujah Job 22nd verse 13 says, Cloud of darkness all around the majestic presence of God. 1 Kings 8.12 and 2 Chronicles 6.1 says that God of Israel dwelt in that cloud of darkness. You know, the glory, the Shekinah and the Kabad glory of God, the presence of God lays upon the cloud of darkness. Hallelujah. This is where the secret place of the Almighty, El Ilion, is, where He will hide you when 
when there is a tragedy, when there is a calamity, when the enemy comes roaring like a lion against you, you will find respite in the secret hidden place of the Most High God. Now, through the blood of Jesus Christ, we have been given liberal access into the most holy place, the Holy of Holies. And we can access the throne of grace and mercy as we tread the new and the living way, as we walk upon the new and living way. This is not the path of religion. This is the new and the living way that has been paved by the blood of Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit, who dwells in immortal bodies, charges us up with great confidence and boldness. Not like the old covenant where the word says, come in the presence of God with much trembling and fear. Under the new covenant, which has been sealed and signed by the blood of Jesus Christ, we can access the throne of the Father with great confidence and with great boldness. But in order to get in the presence of God, you must pierce through the cloud of darkness. God promises Isaiah 45th chapter and the third verse. He says there are treasures. Hallelujah. There are huge treasures that lie there in that dark place, which is the pavilion of the Almighty God. Let us access that place of God. When Jesus died on the cross of Calvary, something very powerful happened in the Jewish temple. The whale, you know that whale, huge heavy whale that contained several skins of peculiar animals that 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 whale that separated the holy from the most holy, it weighed over 400 kilos. It must have been nearly 8 to 10 inches thick. And there was no door. When the high priest, he would, he would enter into the holy of holies on the day of atonement with the blood of the animal. And in order to do that, three months prior to that, he will prepare himself. 10 days exclusive cleanliness. And then on the day of Yom Kippur, he would come into the presence of God with the blood of the innocent lamb. You know how he would enter into the Holy of Holies? God would translocate him. Hallelujah. The glory of God will cause him walk through the thick curtain. Now, through the power of the Holy Spirit who resides in us, we can ascend to the holy mountain of God. And we can enter into the presence of God. Let's learn the keys of the kingdom that are in, in His word. And through the Holy Spirit, let's access the presence of God and dwell there in the presence of God and worship Him. Hallelujah. And adore Him. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, those who listen to this word that you sent from your throne room, may they learn wisdom that is flowing from heaven. May they capture the revelation of your spirit that is, that is descending from your throne. And may they capture the keys, Father. May, may they learn the art to ascend your throne. Ascend and descend, Father. I bless everyone, Father, through the blood of the Lamb. The precious blood of Yeshua, I bless every listener and viewer. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you.